Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Mamiya U. Uh, it was introduced in July of 1981. There was a silver version of it uh, introduced in October of 81. It's a simple zone focused camera with a really nice lens. It's a 35mm f2.8 Mamiya Secor. It's five elements in four groups. You turn it on and cover the lens with this slider on the top. Like most of them, this one is missing this rubbery red dome over the shutter button. Uh, shutter counter resets when you open the back. On the back is the thumb wheel winder. Oh, I have the self timer on. On the back is the thumb wheel winder, uh, flash ready light, this one's intermittent, whether that works or not. And the viewfinder, uh, you get a frame line and a light inside the viewfinder window uh, if your shutter's going to be slow, and that's it. Pull down this lever by the strap to open the back. The film loads on the right and heads over to the photographer's left. Um, on the bottom is a nice recessed rewind crank. It's kind of a cool feature. Uh, the rewind release button and a tripod socket and the battery compartment. It takes two AAA batteries, the little skinny guys. Seemed to last. I did two rolls through this and now I'm monkeying with it and they still seem okay. If you leave the flash popped up, the batteries will drain a lot faster because it's constantly cycling through, keeping the capacitor charged. Um, to test your batteries, just cover the sensor and half press the shutter button. That didn't help. Cover the sensor and half press the shutter button. There's a red light in the viewfinder. I don't know if you can see that. I keep doing a full press. And this one is not very loud, but there's a little beep. There's a little chirpy beep, too. High frequency hearing is on me. It's pretty much gone. Uh, you set the film speed with this little tab here. Uh, it goes from ISO 25 to 400. Uh, this is the metering cell. It's a silicon photodiode, so it responds a little bit faster than the old cadmium sulfide. The camera will meter from EV6 F2.8 at 1 8th of a second, so there is no bulb mode on this. TV 17, that's F16 at 1 500th of a second. Uh, it has a 12 second self timer. Um, put it down. Sorry, Trinity's playing with the lights again. And uh, press the button 12 seconds later, it'll go off. And yeah, you can see the light flashing here and it actually holds the shutter button down until it releases the shutter. Do, 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 do. There we go. Um, this lever here flashes up the flashes up pops up the flash. Uh, the flash range is 4.3 meters at ISO 100. Um, I thought this one stopped working, but the batteries were a little weak, so I think there's still some corrosion in here somewhere. The battery compartment was pretty crudded up on this camera. Cleaned it out, the flash was working, then it stopped working, pulled the batteries out, cleaned up a little more, and it seems to be working again. So, who knows? Let's see here. It's working. Uh, you focus with this lever. It has click stops at 1, 1.5, and 3 meters, and infinity, but anywhere in between the click stops does work, so you can get a little bit finer focusing on that. Uh, my first roll uh, that I shot with this camera was another uh, roll I salvaged from a one-time use camera, some more Kodak 800 that was not properly stored. Shot it at 400, got better results than the roll I did in the Nikon FM10. But they're still grainy as heck. I mean, that's just 800 film for you. 
So anyway, I think I'm going to clean this guy up and see if I can get it working reliably. Find something cool to put over the shutter button to replace the red rubber dome. I don't know, I might hang on to this guy and probably run another roll through it. I did a roll of black and white as a backup. So I will see you then.